A local sailor stuck on his ship during a major milestone. In 10 News, military reporter Hannah Mullins has today's special ceremony that has him grinning from ear to ear. He earned his master's degree, but on Saturday, he missed his chance to proudly wear his cap. Wow. I wasn't expecting anything like this anymore. Francis Oladipo's graduation was the one day that was supposed to be about him. I believe in savage. He grew up in Nigeria, but he dreamed of joining the United States Navy. They've been rendering service, protecting nations all over the world. I was craving to be part of that great family. He became a U.S. citizen and proudly serves his country. Doing your classes at the same time, side by side, it's not so easy. He kept pushing himself. I just believe in doing the best I can. It paid off. His family had come all the way from Nigeria for the big ceremony on Saturday. My anchorage was underway this past week for training. We were scheduled to arrive back on Friday. Weather kept him from commencement, so when they pulled into port, the commanding officer called the president of National University. Thank you for the endearing commitment that National University has to our service members. Together, they honored him. Thank you. It was an excellent moment. It's like a dream come true. It's the American dream he set his eyes on years ago. Since the Navy supported him, he plans to use his master's to become a health care officer in the Navy and better serve fellow sailors. Congratulations. I'm also looking forward to keep giving back to the Navy as long as I can. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Well, congratulations to him. A quarter of the students at National University are actually active duty or veterans, largely because of the flexible schedules.